again, sort of have this nodal bones here. And then, you know, this is probably the most important part to me, are these curvatures. And, uh, you notice how this bone extends out from it. So there's this sort of fanning of bones here. So, and then, you know, let's not forget the thumb, but it is, there's a curvature to it, but, you know, as you can see here, it's not quite the same as all the others, you know. So, but there's that nice fanning kind of feeling, okay. So, those are things to be, think about, you know, when you're actually dealing. I always deal with the bones and try to think of this. Now, with it being cartooning, you know, you don't have exactly the same thing there. But it's just things to uh, to consider when you're starting to draw your bones. Overall, you don't want to have your bones to where, uh, to where when you start to draw the bones, that, uh, excuse my Photoshop skills, guys, I, you know, where everything is like straight across, you know, for each section of the, the, um, the thumb. So that's going to have a lot to do. It's a very organic form. So those are things to consider when, uh, when dealing with that. Okay. And so now let's go and and deal, look at how the bones are actually, where's my, what is it here? No, Photoshop. So, uh, not this image. Okay, so now let's look at this. Now we can see here that we have this fanning here, actually here, that is just right in the center, just four bones coming out of there. No NP, no problem. And then we have more bones that segment straight out. But how this area is dealt with right there is just really, is it's kind of interpretive. So lots of people deal with that different ways. I generally like to deal with it like this, okay? That's how I generally like to deal with that. But there, are, when it comes to rigging, it's not, it doesn't have to be, Absolutely, you don't have to draw every bone as what you see it, you know, uh, in, uh, in anatomy. So oftentimes uh, what I'll do is, uh, you know, lots of people will just, you know, from this main center bone, like we have a bone coming up here, and from this, from this main, so I'm trying to, try to get a brighter color. From this main center bone, we have these two bones, and then we have that main bone here, and then, uh, and and they'll bring it up right like around half in here, and then they'll just you know fan out here, just come because you know there's not really a lot of movement and animation in there, okay? So lots of times people will draw their hands, make the three bones, copy these across. You know, just duplicate these bones, right? Draw that one and then duplicate this and then scale it and and do all that stuff. Just scale them down a little bit. And I don't like to work like that. I like to draw each one. And, uh, and lots of times they'll just copy and some of them don't scale it. And that's a problem because then you don't get that fanning kind of thing. So those are, and, and you know, try to look at the whole, whole setup there. But uh, those are things to uh, be concerned with. So, 